Is it even possible to build a desk with a little bit of cool factor to it for under $50? And the answer to that is yes. This is gonna be possible because we're gonna find the cheapest materials that we can work with and give us this unique look. So let's take a look at what you'll need for this project. You're gonna need two of these, the two by 12 by eight foot lumber. You're also gonna need two of these two by six by eight lumber. And you're gonna need one two by four. You're gonna also need some half inch dowels and pocket hole screws. And yes, together all of those are still gonna come in under $50. Now, of course, this price doesn't include tools and you won't need to spend a ton of money on that either. You'll be able to get by with a few tools like a circular saw, a drill, and also a sander. So before we dive into the video, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about today's sponsor and that's topcashback.com. It's a cashback app that gives 100% of the commission back to members. This means you can collect a small percentage of your purchase in the form of a rebate when shopping online. Over time, that can add up and there's no minimum payout. To some extent, we're all shoppers, so if you're going to shop online, why not take advantage of the available cashbacks? It's free to join, just click on the link down in the video description, enter your email, password, and after that, you get access to over 4,000 retailers. You can do this from a mobile device, the website, or even their browser extension. No perks here, you can shop as you normally do when you're on your favorite retailer, click on the extension, and see if there's an offer. And if you want, you can see deals before you shop by just heading over to the website, browsing the menus, selecting the category, for example, home and garden, then scroll down and go to home improvement and tools. You can see all the related retailers like Lowe's, Home Depot, True Value, Ace Hardware, Michaels, Dollar Tree, Home Depot have an 8% cashback, so I'm gonna select that retailer. As you can see, there's a lot of options here, so just take an action, and that'll take you over to Home Depot website where you can then shop as usual. Click the link and sign up, and you'll get a $10 top cashback sign up bonus, plus cash back up on spending $25. All right, so you gotta pay close attention here. This is the plan right here. I need a few pieces to fit inside the leg, the waterfall part for the desk, an apron, and also a leg. So now that I brought you up to speed, let's build this thing. I'm gonna use a two by 12 by eight foot Southern Yoda pine. Actually, a couple of those. I'm gonna pull out the tape and make a mark at 29 inches. Do this on both parts. Now I'm gonna use the speed square as a guide to go ahead and cut that board at the line. You don't have to be too perfect here because we're gonna trim this a little later. Now I'm gonna lock a two x four to my table saw fence and use that as a guide while I rip down the side of these boards and try to create a straight edge. Now I actually have a jointed like right behind me which would make this a lot easier to create that straight edge, but I wanna show you that you can get close enough with a table saw. You can also strap a straight edge to one of these pieces of boards and use a circular saw as well. For this application, this is gonna work out just fine. The joint is tight enough for me, but if you run into issues where you don't have such luck, you can always just cut it again and just trim off a small piece until you get there. So now I'm gonna mark off where I want the dowels to sit. I'm gonna mark in about two inches from each end and then also place those about 10 inches apart. Now I'm just gonna carry that mark over to the next part. Whenever I'm joining inch and a half materials, I like to use a half inch dowel. The jig I'm using is from Rockler and I'll link that down in the video description. The only drawback here is the dowels are not going in the very center. So I'm gonna add a few additional lines so I can add a few more dowels but put those on the opposite side. Using one row is probably just fine but I'm pretty confident that adding a second row is just gonna make this a lot better. So if you apply a little patience, it all can line up just fine. So here's my little trick to keep me focused. I like to mark the lines on both pieces, then I'll make a little dot to let me know which side I need to drill on. As long as I line up my dowel jig to the line, my hole should be pretty accurate. After drilling everything, I did a dry fit to make sure everything lined up, and it did. Now I'm gonna apply wood glue to the entire surface and then fill the holes with wood glue. And after going one direction, I'm gonna come back the other way, installing the dowels. I'll also drop a little bit in the opposite end, just so nothing gets scraped off. And now it's time to put it together.
Go ahead and put some clamps on and if you don't have clamps big enough to hold this together you can try doubling up and the other option is you can use band clamps and if you don't have those either you can always use ratchet straps. I set the top off to the side and then put my focus over on the leg. It was the same process. Normally I let the clamp sit for about 24 hours when doing something like this. But I only let a few hours go by which is good enough you just cannot disturb the joint too much. I didn't need the top to be as long as it was so I trimmed off a part of it. Now to attach the leg to the top this is kind of tricky because there's no easy way to do this. As shown I used a 2x4 to clamp the jig and drill the holes. I drilled 4 on the outside and 2 holes on our inner side. I'm going to use the dowel center to go ahead and mark the leg. I drilled the 2 holes on the inside freehand so only one of them actually came out good so we'll just ride with that. Again not that different from what I did before. Seeing these things line up is straight satisfaction. Now before walking away you definitely want to go ahead and check to make sure that the leg is square. To keep things as rigid as possible I'm going to add an apron between both legs. I could have also installed this with dowels but I'm going to go ahead and install this with pocket hole screws. And again everything I'm using in this video will be linked down in the video description. And now it's a good time to go ahead and sand down the loose parts. I use clamps to hold the frame together as I drive in pocket hole screws. Now I could have ran this through my planer and cleaned these boards up but I want to show you that I'll jump in the trenches with you guys and do the hard work to clean these boards up. I let the outer leg dictate where I put the apron. That leg is centered with the top of the desk. So to install the apron is just simple as driving in a few pocket hole screws. Right now the pocket holes are facing the outside of the desk but eventually I change this to face on the inside. Either way can work. If you're going to put the desk up against the wall let the pocket hole face out. If you're going to put the desk out in the open face the pocket holes in. In most cases I make this so that the leg is removable by using threaded inserts here. But instead I want to keep the cost down to use the least amount of hardware. I double checked to make sure that the leg was in center but also straight. After that it's a matter of driving in the pocket hole screws from the back and driving in a few more pocket hole screws to secure the leg. So take a look at the legs and you just see how simple that looks. I mean it's kind of a modern look quite clean but if you want to step that up I'm going to show you a quick way what you can do to it and actually I'm just going to do it in this video since I normally make a lot of modern stuff let's just give it a little twist to this one. First thing we need to do here is cut these at a 22 degree angle and you can do this with a miter saw but I'm going to do it with a circular saw. Alright overall I think this looks pretty good so I'm gonna just glue these in place and that's gonna be it. These parts are only decorative so I'm only gonna use wood glue to secure these pieces in place. This is some rough lumber so a lot of time was poured into sanding the top of this down. Travis was interested in this desk for his daughter so I let him get a piece of the action and do his first routing job. The round over looks pretty good but most importantly it's kid friendly. I may have taken the clamps off a bit early because I don't recall seeing this gap in here. But that's ok we're going to fix that with sawdust and some wood glue. This worked but the sawdust was soaking up the wood glue making it hard to push. Either way it's a quick solution and I didn't have to go buy any wood filler. So we'll let this set up and then we'll sand the top one more time before applying stain. I'm a big gel stain fan, I've been using it for years now and it's still one of my go to. Based on my past experience I like to work on one surface at a time so I'm going to cover the entire top 
wipe that off and then move to the next section. Now you'll need a couple clean rags for this and as you wipe this off you can just see the reveal and everything starts to look good until I got about right here and I saw this big spot in the middle of the desk and I knew this was wood glue and it sucked because there's not an easy way to go around this. I eventually had to sand the entire top off. I didn't panic, it was annoying, but I just resurfaced it and I did the same process again. And by the time I got done with that, here's what the top looks like. I was really on the fence with the finished look here. I like the raw wood and also the finished look. It's a nice combination. Now I know if I paint the leg white, this is gonna give off a better contrast between the light color and the dark color. There's no going back. I put on a coat of primer and then I finished it off with a oil base white paint. All right, so the final step here is to put on some sort of protective shield on it and I'm gonna just use some white bomb poly just to make it feel a little better to the touch. Minus the paint and stain, this is a $50 desk, $46 to be exact. This is a sleek design that's waiting on your personal touch. You can make your desk more exciting with cooler to DIYs like this lamp or even this wireless charger. By the way, the best one so far, I don't have to remove my case to use it. So if you need a desk or you just wanna update your existing space, this is a great contender, perfect for kids and adults. This is a great weekend project and I think most people would be excited to work on this. But with DIY Creators Fashion, I can't let you guys leave without seeing LEDs on this thing. If you're building this for a kid, the LEDs are a must. And this kit is the perfect length for this desk coming in at just under $15. And that should bring your desk total to around $61 if you add LEDs. So to install this, I'm gonna run the LED across the apron and when we get to that corner, it's gonna be hard to bend the LED and you may not like that stress on it. To take the stress off of that, I'm gonna cut the LED and install this extension. You need to remove the adhesive on the back of the LED strip so you can slide it under the metal prong and then close the clip. Now continue laying the rest of the LED strip. I'll also secure the connectors with these rubber clips it came with. I also added another clip towards the bottom to hold the harness down. This came from my LED stash. Now test it to make sure your connection is good before you continue. So on the bright side, the LEDs look pretty good and they work. The downside is I don't really like the way the LEDs flow across the top. In order to get that glow on the wall that I usually like, I have to put the strip of the LED on the back of the desktop. So I'm just gonna relocate the strip and we'll be back in business. This is the look I was intending to get. Love the way this came out. I hope you enjoyed this build. It was a very fun one and you know, simple process, just being able to take some regular dimensional lumber and make something really cool and inexpensive. Big thanks to Top Cashback for sponsoring this video. Please go check them out, link in the description. And again, if you're new, I'm Glenn. Welcome to the channel and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you in the next one.